Hey there, this is the One Boom, and welcome to Climate. Enjoy the video. Alright, so Climate, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. And by the way, that is how I'm going to be reviewing uh, DLC maps from now on. I'm just going to give it a flat rating, and then ex the rest of the video will be me explaining to you why. So, if the numbers 8 out of 10 are good enough for you, back out now. But if you want to know why it's an 8 out of 10, stick around. So, the layout of this map is small, round, and open. Personally, I like that uh, feel of a map. I like a map that's very, very round. Uh, to me, that's just... It's interesting. It always adds an interesting dynamic. It's not just, I'm on this side, you're on this side, we push. It turns into a cl clockwise or counterclockwise push around the map, controlling spawns. And to me, that's pretty cool. But that does bring me to my next point, the spawns. The spawns on this map are kind of awful, just because the spawns are on either side of the map. Now, any of the four sides, however the game thinks about it, I don't know, but the four sides of the map around the circle, <clears throat> sorry, are very open. So when you spawn, there's usually someone looking at you because of how small it is. So this guy could just be carrying on his merry way. Let's say the enemy is just bouncing around, grappling around. We having a great time. You can appear right in front of him. Just because of the way the, you know, the uh, clockwise or counterclockwise spawns work. It's a merry-go-round of go screw yourself and it's never it's never really fun when you're inside of it. So spawns are probably my biggest con with this map. Because, I always say, I can't get mad at it because it can be fixed in a patch, but I think this is just due to poor map design. The layout is awesome, but the spawn layout, they should have bumped out some areas of the map into more dedicated spawn zones. Because it's like, you have the map and it always feels like it's just missing a place where I should spawn. Alright, so color. Uh... I would say the color and the color, uh, the color, the color, 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 the color scheme of this map is very bright and vibrant and nice. It's fun to look at. It's a very appealing map aesthetically. There's nothing really wrong with it. I like the sounds on it. Uh, very nice looking map overall. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. But if you're wondering if this map is fun, the answer is yes. The map is very fun, fast paced. It works with, well with the exosuits, the grappling hook. Overall, very fun map. Spawns are the biggest issue with because I think the tie-in with the layout. And to be honest, hell, it's a fun map anyway. And that's why I'm giving it 8 out of 10. The spawns are so bad, I might even give it a 7 out of 10. But it's just so fun that sometimes I've gone through an entire map without really ever really being spawn trapped. Maybe a crappy spawn once or twice during a match, but never just being spawn trapped or spawn killed over and over again. So Definitely take your time when you spawn. If you didn't spawn into gunfire or looking at an enemy, take your time and don't just sprint around the corner because there's most likely someone there. Um, oh, the dynamic event. That's what I was going to talk about. Did I, the dynamic event turns the water into really piping hot Mountain Dew. Don't touch that. It'll slowly kill you. I like this dynamic because obviously you have to work a little bit harder with your exo jumps and your grappling hook because you really don't want to be caught in that because it'll... It won't usually kill you unless your controller dies while you're in the water, but it'll get you down to the point where you're so low on health that one bullet will kill you, and I've done that to so many people and I've had it done to me multiple times as well. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. That was cliche. Anyway, I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye!